I started it two years ago after my sophomore year. It's just me that does it. Um, I actually like fixed my own fan whenever I broke it. I just ordered the parts um, online. And then um, I never thought to turn it into a business. And my one of my friends that went to tech, he started doing it as a business back home. And um, he started doing it at tech. And then he went home to do it full time and started his own business and I started doing it here. It's my little side income to pay for, help pay for school and other expenditures that I have. I would estimate that I've fixed probably around 400 phones. Now it's consistently about one to two phones a day and it's been picking up a lot and it's going pretty well. I get a lot of business from tech students. That's how it started off and it's been like word of mouth from there. And then I have my own website, uh, lubbockiphone.com and it pops up on like Google whenever you search like Lubbock iPhone or uh, iPhone repair and it, um, I've been getting a lot of calls from that lately and that's pretty much how I've been getting all my business. I really just looked everything up online like what I need to do and like um, and then I found people to buy my parts from and they're like every time like a new phone comes out I have to learn how to do that video or that uh, repair and I look it up online and there's videos showing how to do it. First time I ever did an iPhone repair, it took me about two hours. And now I got them down to pretty much 15, 20 minutes for pretty much any type of repair. A lot of experience doing that. I only had to get like five, ten tools to be able to do all the repairs that I needed. And they're really cheap. They're really small screwdrivers. Um, and then like a heat gun for the old 3G and 3GS glass repairs. And then um, just I got all the parts that I need for depending on what repair I'm doing, the front glass, the back glass, uh, battery. All of them have the same type of repairs. It just depends on the different type of phone, but they're all different. Um, let's say like iPhone 4 for at t is different than the iPhone 4 for Verizon. And then there's the 4S. It's really convenient for me to, um, I do it out of my home. Most of the time I'm just at this desk actually uh, doing my homework or something. I'll get a call. I get numerous calls a day and I'll answer them and set up a time for someone to get their phone fixed and um, they'll come by, I'll take a 20-30 minute break to fix their phone give it back to them and then just go back to watching TV or homework or not. Definitely get a lot of business after like holidays because uh, people go home, they break their phones, they know me and they'll come back and get their phones fixed and then um, Definitely after weekends, I'll get a lot of business from people that go out to the bars or something like that. They'll drop their phone and then look at their phone fix on Sunday or Monday. That's I get a lot of business on those two days. And then uh, the rest of the week is kind of relaxed, but those are my busiest days. My normal prices are $75 for the front glass uh, for iPhone 4 or 4S, $30 for the back glass, and then $90 for both. 3G and 3GS, I charge $40 for the glass. And I don't do I, the iPhone 5 yet because the glass is really expensive. Um, it's actually cheaper to do it through Apple right now because the glass costs me $200 from all the suppliers that I have. I'm not trying to charge anyone more than what it should cost. Running your own business is a great learning opportunity. Like, I'm MIS and um, it's taught me a lot and a lot of it's helped in a lot of different classes and stuff. And... Um, it's great because you can work your own hours. You can make as much as you put into it. I mean, I, I work my butt off, and I, I mean, it works out for me. Over the past couple years, I have gotten my phone fixed at least six or seven times by Dean Koenig at Lubbock iPhone. And uh, each time, he does a really good job. It's very time efficient. I uh, actually live with him, so it's a pretty easy trip for me. I just have to walk down the hallway, but he does it right in Lubbock. It's very convenient. Some of the uh, lowest prices that you can actually get for iPhone repairs, most of the companies around here will uh, charge you a lot more than he will. He doesn't have a, like, a specific warranty or anything like that, nothing contractual that you get written down, but if anything ever goes wrong with any of his repairs, he's always willing to give you a call and uh, or have you give him a call and fix it for free. He's a fellow Red Raider, so helping him out is just helping out the student body. He's a great guy and he does a great job. I either plan on selling my business to somebody else to run or ha um, one of my friends that will be here still, teaching them all the repairs and teaching them all the troubleshooting for any problems that people will have. Wreck'em tech! <laughs>